Hey, what is up, YouTube? Angry Radicate here. Today we have a Rock Mana type team, and it's kind of like bottom tier. It's not a very good type to use. However, it does have some niche uses against like Sun teams and Ice teams, or, like um, Hail teams. Also, is good against obviously the other types. It's good against like Flying teams. Um, it obviously is really good for setting up a lot of stuff with Clean Shuckle. There's a lot of Stealth Rock users, so you're almost guaranteed they'll set that up. You can run Sand on this team. I run Sand on Titar. It obviously isn't hurting my people, and they get that special defense boost. So you might as well run it on like Titar, but um. You don't have to like use a lot of stuff that has sand rush or sand force. There's not, that, there's not many of our rock types that really get those kind of things that are really that helpful either. So for this team's breakdown, we have a Shuckle, a Cradley, Bastiodon, Tyranitar, on obviously not Mega, you can't yet, Terrakion, and Nihiligo. Uh, Shuckle, let's we'll start with this thing right here. Shuckle, pretty typical, like, not typical, I guess, like, pretty old fashioned with the red card, sturdy. It doesn't work nearly as much as I would have liked. Like, I like, I love when people used to be able to set up on you, not thinking you would have red card. You get them the sturdy, and then you have all your stuff set up, and you just red card them out, and they wasted a bunch of turns. You have a bunch of stuff set up for free. It doesn't really work out that well anymore, so you can run, like, Citrus Berry or Leftovers, or even, like, a Rest with Chesto Berry on the Shuckle set. However, once you get your Stealth Rocks and Sticky Web up, Encore and Knock Off are the only things you can really go for, so as long as Tivity isn't really as important. This thing, while it's really important to the team, isn't going to last the whole fight. This thing almost always faints in fights. If it gets down low and you switch out for whatever reason to get a good matchup, then when you bring this thing back in, you can basically sack it off to get a free switch in. Super helpful in that regard. I run, I focus on defense, and you run HP. You can't really focus on both special defense and defense. Its HP doesn't really allow for that, only because it only has base 20. So you kind of have to run investment in that. Um, nothing super exciting about the set. I run Impish, and I run 4 speed, EVs, and speed to outspeed other Shuckles if they're not running any investment. However, most probably do. So at least I'll make a speed tie with ones that only run the 4 EVs in it. Up next we have Cradley. This is our special wall. This thing is actually like really underrated. While it has a kind of iffy type with rock grass, it does have a lot of good switching options. Obviously this team's super weak to like water attacks, so having Storm Drain on this is, gives you a reliable switch in against a lot of like people on rain teams. Uh, leftovers obviously just kind of help you keep them alive. Giga Drain Recover, Toxic, Ancient Power. Kind of typical stuff for him. Nothing you're ever really going to not see. Like I'm not running some crazy move on this. I think they get Amnesia as well. Let me check that. They get amnesia. However, it's already pretty good bulky wise, so you can kind of run toxic. And it's nice to have extra recovery besides recovering Giga Drain. And that gives you a nice grass type move. Again, to help you against some of the more like water types that you'll be facing. And also ground, which is also a good matchup against you. Ancient power can help you get some nice boost and to stab attack. Um, investment, special defense, all the way, obviously. You can choose defense, however, it has 10 more in special defense. And rock types are known for their defense, not so much their special defense. So you kind of want to have some kind of special wall. And this thing in sand, obviously, is going to tank anything. Even like a Mega Alakazam's Focus Blast isn't going to do like, it's probably going to two shot, like three shot against Cradley. Up next, we have again like another trick Pokemon on this team. Like rock types don't have a lot of Pokemon that are like that solid or like, like top tier stuff. They have a lot of like solid or like niche options. They don't have that many like superstar Pokemon like a lot of other types do. So you kind of get stuck running stuff that's like niche or like kind of like. Uh, kind of like risky or like a um a trick set so we have a bastion leftover sturdy obviously running metal burst and then i have some attacking moves you can run toxic stealth rocks a second stealth rock user in case they rapid spin uh avalanche iron head and stone edge are what i choose though because it does do a good amount of damage i don't run any investment on this thing for its defense or special defense uh, you can again but then the fact the, the idea that this thing is getting a metal burst kill off that's what it's really meant to do if they have like something that's going to use like taunt or like something like that or like a non a non-attacking move, you have options with Avalanche, Iron Head, and Stone Edge. And Avalanche will do a lot of damage, going against like Dragon Types and stuff like that. And uh, Grass Teams, which you might struggle against as well, which are kind of more relevant than I thought they would be. Avalanche has 120 base power, and with this thing invested, is um, again, I don't know if you really should run the attack investment on this thing, it's not going to hit that hard. However, it's going to take advantage of the three attacking moves you have. I could definitely see running a defensive one, because the things that he'll still faint to, like Fighting Type moves and uh, Ground Type moves, he still, he'll still faint them, regardless of what your 252 EVs are in. Up next, we have Titar. This is an Assault Fest set. I would love, I would love to be able to run Mega and like make a Dragon Man set. However, uh, I think this fits the team a little bit more too, having a special wall on it. There's a lot of special attack, uh, special type users in the uh, Monotype meta game, so it's important to have these things. I think it's the best set he can run outside of maybe Choice Band or Choice Scarf. Kind of depends on what your team needs. However, I'm also running a Choice Choice Scarf uh, Nihil Ego, so I'm not going to run two Choice Scarf users. Uh, Stone Edge, Crunch, Earthquake, and Fire Punch. I've checked Fire Punch more often than most things. And Stone Edge and Crunch are pretty self-explanatory. And Earthquake, again, it just makes great coverage with Stone Edge. 
Uh, investment, I run 2 pp2 attack, 2 pp2 hp. You can run defense or special defense to help Millie take advantage of that assault fast. However, he's already pretty bulky. As you'll see in one of the fights, he's able to take on like pretty much the whole team himself. And he tanks, I think, like two super effective hits. And he still has like 30% of his HP left, and he just keeps plowing through their team. So uh, he's definitely a solid mon member of this team. However, the biggest members, I think, are definitely Nihiligo and Shuckle. They're definitely the MVPs of this team. Um, Terrakion's been kind of a disappointment for me, actually. I know, like, Terrakion's, I think, like, S tier for rock type teams. Almost every single rock mono type team will run a Terrakion. I just haven't really found an issue for him yet. Uh, Life Orb Justified, pretty self-explanatory. Um, you can run Choice Scarf, Choice Band, but then you can't run Sword Stance, obviously. However, I don't think he has a fourth good move, co like a, a good enough fourth move coverage to really justify that. Uh, justify, get the joke. Uh, Sword Stance, Close Combat, Stone Edge, and Iron Head. Uh, I think his other moves are like X Scissor and like Poison Jab, or some Poison type move. I think Sword Stance can definitely help you a lot more. If you're switching against like a special wall and they want to switch out, it gives you a free chance to Sword Stance. And with Sticky Web Up from Shuckle, you can run a uh, you can run an attack nature instead. I do run speed just in case, because there are some faster things. I do like having a more of a speed on this team, because this team obviously isn't very fast outside of this and here we go. You want at least one than one on speed option on your team. But again, Terrakion's been kind of a disappointment for me. This thing has been the most clutch thing in the world for me. Um, just look at those beautiful stats right there. You, you, with the Choice Scarf on this and um, the investment in speed, you're rocking 305 speed before Choice Scarf. You're going to be going over 450 speed. And then your special attack is 388, almost 400, plus Beast Boost. Once you get one kill, this thing just starts racking up kills. And the fact that you have great coverage in Power Gem, Sludge, Sludge Wave, Hidden Power Ice, and Thunderbolt, as long as like you take out the one thing that usually counters that type, you can start plowing through teams. This thing is definitely the MVP of this team. Maybe Shuckle because he can help sets up the whole thing. But this thing is definitely a superstar on this team. Uh, again, Power Gem and Sludge Wave gives you great coverage. I think you can run Sludge Bomb. Actually, I'm not sure if you can, but Sludge Wave does more damage. And with this thing, you just want to get as many kills as possible, as big as possible. HP Ice, obviously. I think I have an uh, Ice type move on Bastion, you know, but every team needs at least one or two Ice type moves. And then Thunderbolt forms a great full team coverage with that. Um, Alright guys, I have a few fights for you guys. Some of them didn't save for whatever reason or I forgot to save them. So I only have four fights for you, but I also kind of want to make these videos a little shorter too. So I think that's going to help in the end. Alright guys, we got our first of the four fights I have for you today. All of them didn't really record or they didn't like save. I don't know why they didn't. I think it was like, an error with it. But the first fight here against Dev794. It's got Dragon type team, Noivern, Salamence, Dragalge, Nivali, uh, Flygon, and Garchomp. Salamence can't be Mega. Garchomp might be, might be Choice Scarf or Rocky Helmet, don't really know. But their lead options, they have a lot of different things they can lead with here. A Flygon, Salamence both have good options for the turn on Flygon and Intimidate on Salamence. Garchomp with its Choice Scarf is a pretty good lead set. However, if it's Mega, you don't want to use your lead with your Mega, especially Mega Garchomp. Leads with this Flygon here, um, probably gonna, it probably thought the U turn out. Uh, it just switches into Savali though, I don't know why you didn't go for U turn, maybe you didn't have it. Air Slash isn't going to be much of anything, and my red card activates, getting Salamence to come in, which is a free 25% to it. I went for the knockoff there against Nivali, I probably should have set up the uh, Stecky Web. Should have Encored here in case he would have uh, Dragon Dance. Luckily, or good for him, he didn't go for a second one, so he's able to Fire Fang into his attacking move before I Encored him. So that was a good play on his part. Fire Fang, I switched into Nihiligo anyway. Sadly, he does get a burn, which kind of stinks a lot, because now I can't stay in as long. Or I won't last as long. Uh, I, I really should have went for the HP Ice there, I really wanted to, but... Uh, I, I don't know why. I thought he would go into his um, Drag Alice, which um, Power Gem would have done more, I think. Actually, I don't know. I don't know why. I probably should have went for that anyway. But I go into Shuckle, Force Out, and the Drag Alge. Uh, I get a free knockoff here. However, he's not only really running items on his stuff. So I'm not sure that was just a mistake on his part, or if he was really wor uh, worried about knockoff. I'm not really sure. I Encore him here. And again, I make a misplay. This is like one of my first fights with this team. I could have easily just switched in the Cradley, but uh, I go in here. I wanted to keep uh, it safe just in case he switched out as well. And he switched out on the Flygon. I get a free Ancient Power on it. Don't really get a boost. He goes for the Bug Buzz. I want his 30%. Again, this thing is an amazing wall. We toxic it here. That's going to cripple it. I could have went for the Giga Drain right there anyway. And I think he does go for a Bug Buzz again here. It does about 30% again. And we Giga Drain. does about 27. So we're not going to be able to tank it forever. However, he's going to die before that, obviously. And uh, I believe he almost forfeits soon. I don't think he really thinks that he can break through his core. And he still have a lot of very good options. While well, he's in a huge deficit. With the Stealth Rocks and Sticky Web, that can really demoralize a lot of teams. And even when they don't get like scared by it, the people who aren't like not so much skilled enough, it, it can really it cripples your sweeper. And like stuff like Dragon, uh, Salamence, Dragonite, Noivern, and other things, other flying types, other fire types, they hate Stealth Rocks. And then and most sweepers hate, especially the uh, he forfeits here. He just gave up. Most most people hate. The um, sticky web because it ruins sweepers. If you're like if you're a frail sweeper and you get that minus drop, you're crippled. Because then stuff like on this team Terrakion, he's not the fastest thing in the world. Is going to outspeed and he's most likely going to kill you because he's a crazy strong mon. Stuff like Nihiligo, obviously my choice scarf, but like other things like 
bug type teams and electric type teams run love running Galvantula because they can run more of the bulky stuff. They don't have to rely on the, the frail, super fast Pokemon now, speed and kill in one hit. And it's a really big help to have stuff uh, stick web on the team. Alright guys, for our second fight here, we're going to Hydrobotics. He has a Galvantula, Volcarona, a Arachnid thing, is that what it's called, right? Yeah, Arachnid, Crustle, uh, the stupid buff thing, Rahombi, and Scizor. So, it's obviously a very good matchup for me here, however, there's still a lot of things I have to worry about, kind of setup and stuff. Uh, bug type teams are always really annoying to deal with, they're kind of high risk, high reward players. Uh, it goes into Valkyrie, Galvan, kind of an obviously, I probably got the overall leads there. That or Scizor was his only lead choices. I wanted to Encore there in case he went for Sticky Web. He, I should have Encored again here. But he goes for the Shell Smash, and me being an idiot, go for the Sticky Web. That, that will help us later. His Earthquake only does 34%, which will let me lock. I sh again, I shouldn't have locked him in the Earthquake. But then I go for the uh, Self Rocks, and he goes for the Earthquake. His Encore ends in an unfortunate time. I think it's after this turn. I go in the Cradle here. It's a Giga Drain. He goes for the Earthquake. This is 61% because we're not defense invested. Uh, we have enough HP where we would tank my Earthquake. However, his Encore ends, and he's able to go for the X Scissor, as he goes for here. And that'll obviously take us out, which is unfortunate. I'm going to the Basti down here. Should have just done this first and then went for the, uh, when I had, before. I could have saved Cradley and just Metal Person. However, Cradley doesn't have very good matchups in this fight. It loses to Galvantula, probably. It loses to Volcarona. Actually, I don't know, Volcarona I can beat with the Ancient Power, but it loses to Scizor. It loses the Arachnid, probably. So it doesn't have that many good matchups. Uh, Tyranitar here in the Scizor. He probably didn't expect that Fire Punch. This is why I love Fire Punch. Tyranitar has so many different options. You can't, like, predict what it's going to run on it. It can run Special, Mixed, Physical set up and then like defensive ones so uh fire punch obviously comes up big in this fight special attack drop doesn't hurt me at all rombi's gonna get taken out look at that moon blast did under half now i'm pretty sure that's a choice vex rombi even mostly runs choice vex bug buzz does again like 28 percent so i probably die next turn with a stone edge or the fire punch hits i didn't want to risk a stone edge miss goes in with arachnid here and i do believe i just stone edge i'm faster than it because of the speed drop see the speed drop helps t-tar even sweep Something that you would never expect to be going first in fights is able to get a lot more kills then. And Volcarona obviously wasn't going to beat me. Even if it got past Tyranitar, I still had my Nihilo go for the power gem and then unless he's I think even if he's choice drop I'm still faster. So that was a guaranteed win there. Um, again, this team has a lot of, like I said, this team has a lot of good niche matchups against teams that are higher up. However, it does lose to a lot of teams down in the mid. So if you want to go to the tournament, I would recommend actually bringing a rock type team. You'll be facing the problem is rain teams will definitely beat you, and you can try to mess around with Tyranitar in, in the rain or Tyranitar sand setting, which is why I like to run a salt vest on it because it kind of how to help absorb some of those water attacks that you'd be switching into and those weather wars. However, this team definitely has a big disadvantage against rain type teams, which is the only thing in tournaments that doesn't really beat. It's gonna beat. Uh, it's gonna lose to steel as well. Those are the two types that really kind of keep this team out from being like competitive. Uh, it beats Sun teams, it beats Hail teams, which are big, 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 big in the metagame. Bug type teams aren't bad. It has a decent matchup against Electric, just in some of the moms, and it's just in some of how the Pokemon like interact in it. I do want to make some videos on more of the uh, tier list for Monotype, an unofficial tier list, because there isn't any official ones, and a lot of people have been asking about it, myself as well. So I'm going to spend some hours researching in different matchups and stuff, asking some pro, or play pro players what their like top five are, bottom five. We can kind of figure out like a tier list for Monotype. I think that'll be pretty big. So uh, we have we have two more fights for you guys. Let's go check them out. All right, guys, for our third fight here, we have more of a neutral matchup against a poison type team. Jetami Seuss has a Mega Beedrill, obviously. Uh, Golbat, pretty weird to see. Maybe an EV light set there. Weezing, Gengar, uh, it had Choice Scarf on it. You wouldn't really know. Maybe Focus Ash on it. A Salazzle and a Roserade. Obviously a special wall, and Weezing is his physical wall, making a nice core. And uh, his Golbat probably has... Uh, Defog on it, which kind of makes my Shuckle irrelevant. However, we do lead with it, thinking that he would highly lead with his as well, just to kind of like counter it. And he does. He goes for Super Fang, takes me on the half health, that's HP I'll never get back. Switches out. I did, I did go for the knockoff, thinking he probably had Defog, which lets me knock off his uh, Gengar, which is really nice that I switched into that instead. And I tank the, I tank the Shadow Ball to get a free Stealth Rock damage, or Stealth Rock setup. He does take me off the Shadow Balls afterwards. I go into Titar here. I could run Pursuit on this to make, I, I could have ran Pursuit to trap it. However, it's not that common that you really get a chance to use Pursuit. I, so he switches into his uh, Weezing, that crit is pretty nice, takes it down a good bit. And then I switch out again, back into my Nihigalil here. Goes for the Wilbus, but that's pretty obvious he was going to do against Titar. Slug Bomb wouldn't do enough, especially since um, in the sand, and I'm a Salt Fast, but he didn't know that, obviously. So I get a free setup here with Power Gem, and then he's, got, he's in huge trouble here. Choice Scarf and Nihigalil is going to outspeed pretty much everything on his team. I guess he thought maybe his Beedrill had a chance, but um, I guess he didn't realize that was Choice Scarf. And that's going to be, that's gonna be game, because I'm already at plus two now, I'm pretty sure he's forfeits here, yeah. But Golbat would have just gotten a one-shot. I'm faster than Gengar, would have been one-shot. Rosary, maybe. I mean, if he switched it in before the uh, Beedrill, 
if he may have had a chance, he could have Giga Drain. I don't think I would have killed a plus one against the Rose Raid if it's fully special defense invested. I know some run some special attacks, some of them are more threatening. It, it was up to him. I'm not sure if he really had that or not. But at plus two, I definitely would have one shotted. So that's how, that, this is how you can see this thing with the MVP of the team between the last few fights. Um, obviously, the, the second fight had T Tar mainly sweeping. This thing is just such a huge powerhouse. Once you get that opportunity to get a killer two, and people usually don't realize that you're Choice Scarf right away. Um, you can also run Expert Bell to kind of trick to think that you are um, uh, Choice Scarf. That's a common thing people will do. They'll use Expert Bell instead. So you might think, oh, they're locked into this, and they go for a different type move. Because usually most sweepers only run Life Orb or a Choice item. So when you see them only go for one move over and over again, you usually think they're Choice Locked. However, Expert Bell can come in and do that then. However, this thing um, loses out on too much speed, I think. Uh, Sticky Web can make it enough so it's faster, but stuff like that's flying. Or when they're able to get rid of the Sticky Web, this thing's in trouble then. So I do, I do think Choice Scarf is the best choice for this, at least on this team. Alright guys, for our last fight here against Meteor AU Rose, he has an ice type team, this was in a tournament. As a, Again guys, this is like a common type to see in tournaments, so bring Rock to a tournament until you fight a steel type team or a team that kind of beats Rock, some of the more middle teams, like a rain team. Uh, you'll be able to win a lot of the matchups against like other weather type teams like this, Fire, it's good against flying type teams which are pretty common even though they aren't as good as they used to be. This team beats a lot of those like higher tier stuff, that's more common. Uh, so this guy's the Kriganol, Lolan Ninetales, Wallery, and uh, Mamoswine, and then Abomb Snow and Lolan Sandslash. Obviously a Lolan Sandslash is going to be supported by the Hail. Uh, Wallery is just a good special wall, Kriganol as well. And Mamoswine is just, it could be a Focus Sash lead set, or it could be a Life Orb, not the Sweeper set, but Wall Breaker. So his lead options are again Mamoswine if it's a Focus Sash set, and then one of the Snow Setters. When he doesn't leave with Mamoswine, kind of makes me think, okay, he's most likely not a Focus Sash set. It ends up not mattering, but it's just that, you know, nice the information to have. He switches right into a Sand Slash here. Uh, he goes for the Ice Wheel Crash. Only does 18%. This thing's a huge wall. Makes him go in the wall ring, which is actually bad for me, because now he's able to surf me down. As you'll see here, he does in a second. I get down to 8%, though. However, it's nice. Gets a chance to knock off his item. It doesn't really matter in the long run. However, knocking his um, leftovers over, locking his leftovers off is really nice. However, he goes in his Krignal. He's going to try to go for a Rapid Spin here, I'm pretty sure. But luckily, my Shuckle will die from the Hail, actually. This give me a free switch in the Tracheon. I'm able to close combat and keep my uh, hazards up. And take down his Krignal at the same time. And his Hail does end at the same time. So now I know he's not a um, the one rock that boosts um, Hail to 8 turns. He goes into his Abama Snow. I'm able to close combat again. He basically sacks off his Abama Snow to give himself, what, 5 more turns, 8 more turns in the Hail. Uh, so then I'm buffed by the hail. I'm gonna be taken out by the sand slash here. Even at minus one, this thing is so fast and hail that it's able to just go first and obviously take out my Tracheon. Uh, so here I go on the Bastion, thinking maybe he'll switch stay in. He does switch, so it makes me think maybe he's a choice item, maybe not. He could be running like uh, a Lumberry on it because he doesn't have anything to cure that. Once that thing goes down, that's his main sweep on his team, so he might be running a Lumberry on it. Um, I, I, I predict the Surfkin here and go my Cradle to keep my uh, self at 100%. He goes into Sand Slash here, and even though it's resisted, the crit does help a lot here. It gets 44% down, which is really nice. However, he, uh, he ends up going for the uh, Rapid Spin here. And what's really interesting is you'll see here, he's most likely a Choice Item user, because next turn he also goes for the Rapid Spin. Maybe he thought that I would go for him, but it seems kind of weird that he's not going for like an attacky move, like an Ice School Crash. Would have done loads of damage, maybe even killed. Probably would have killed. But uh, I'm able to take a Sand Slash out, so it's probably a Choice Item, which is kind of weird in the Rapid Spin set. You usually don't do that. Uh, he goes in his Mammoth Swine, does ma major damage, however it majorly hit him down too, 12%, we heal back up, however, Hail doesn't make Ice-type moves do more damage, so Ice Little Crash is obviously still going to kill, however now, again, this thing's able to sweep through teams, this thing's the MVP of the team here, no matter what he does now, this thing's Choice Scar faster than everything on his team, we can just one-shot everything with Power Gem, auto hits, super safe to use, and this thing's just going to win the game for us, this thing again, like I said, is MVP, you use kind of your more like your more bulkier things to kind of wear their team down or take care of like one or two checks that can beat it, like their alone Sand Slash wouldn't be able to easily beat this thing with Iron Head, however now, once that's taken care of, this thing can sweep through their team, you don't want to use this thing too early on, this team also kind of struggles against some of those more like, um, teams, that, like, well, this team struggles to try to get, bring stuff in, that's one of its major issues. So that, that's this team for you guys. I'm not sure if you guys really want to use a rock type team, but they're really risky. They're a lot of fun to use. I this is one of my favorite teams to use in the past month. I think this is kind of my favorite team. But um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.